you may notice that there are percentages along the right hand side of the food label. These percents tell you how much of your daily value this food provides. So the US government Food and Drug Administration suggests that we limit how much fat and carbohydrates we have. So they say you should have no more than 65 grams of fat per day or 300 grams of carbohydrate per day. So we can calculate the percent of daily value by taking the number of grams in this food divided by the FDA max. So let's see how those values were calculated. Remember, you should have no more than 65 grams of fat per day. So let's look at what percentage of our fat daily value does one serving of chocolate have. First, re remind yourself how many grams of fat are in this serving. From the label, I see that there are four grams of total fat. Let's calculate the percent of daily value by taking the number of grams in this product divided by the FDA max. So I have five grams of fat divided by 65. Use your calculator to divide this out. Five divided by 65 equals 0 0.0769. Now we calculated this as a decimal. Remember, in order to change a decimal into a percent, you're gonna move the decimal point two places to the right. So that means that this is 7.69%. The food label is gonna to round to the nearest percent. So let's compare our value with what they calculated. And yeah, they said that this item has 8% of your recommended daily value of fat. Now, let's find the percent of our daily value for carbohydrates. The FDA recommends 300 grams of carbohydrates per day. This chocolate provides 30 grams of carbohydrates. To find the percent of daily value, we're going to take the number of grams in this product divided by the FDA max. This product has 30 grams. 30 grams of carbohydrates divided by the FDA max, which is 300 grams. On your calculator, we'll divide to get our decimal. 30 divided by 300 equals 0 0.1. To change that decimal to a percent, we need to move our decimal point two places to the right. One, two. There's not numbers there. We're going to have to fill in that blank with zero. So that means that we get 10% of carbohydrates from this product. Let's check. Yeah, notice the FDA also calculated it out to be 10% of our daily value.